Hello, and welcome back to Hollow Knight with Brian. I'm in the mood today to start things off with some boss battles, but since my last save was here in Dirtmouth, I think we will start by talking to Zote and learning a couple of precepts. Precept 30, never accept a promise. Spurn the promises of others as they are always broken. Promises of love or betrothal are to be avoided especially. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Precept 31. Disease lives inside of dirt. You'll get sick if you spend too much time in filthy places. If you are staying in someone else's house, demand the highest level of cleanliness from your host. <laughs> Some of these are awfully specific. Alright, uh, the boss that I want to fight today is Lost Kin, who is back down in uh, the Ancient Basin. And so I'm going to go save at a bench over here, and I remember him being really difficult, so I'm expecting it's going to take me a number of tries. But we'll get over there, and then I'll figure out how I'm going to do the editing based on how well I actually do against this boss. So, I've made my way over to where one fights Lost Kin. And I have, for trying out this boss battle, Mark of Pride, Quick Focus, which allows me to heal faster, a Dung Defender, which gives me AoE damage, and Lifeblood Core, which starts me off with four extra Lifeblood Hearts. And I haven't fought this guy in a while, I just remember that he's really hard. And so we'll try it out here at the beginning. Oh, right, it's also kind of a pain in the neck to get to his arena, as I recall. I think there is like a... Uh, a shortcut here down the left-hand side, maybe, if I'm remembering. Um, poop. How is it that you get to this guy? Let me just go through kind of this whole rigmarole. Right, this is here. This is actually one of the worst bits of trying to fight this boss, which is every time you lose, it takes so long. Oops. Uh, to get back into the arena, <laughs> to come back in. Uh, but I seem to recall that actually, like, there's a shortcut way that you can go around the left-hand side rather than going down and entering from the right. And so let me see if I can figure that out, because that's going to help out. <laughs> Even if it turns into off-camera time, it's going to help out a lot. And if any of you ever played this game, you'd want to know this, too. Okay, that's the wrong place to go. <laughs> and I just lost one of my hearts. But if I wait until here, there we go. That's the quick way in. Okay, so what is this guy like? Uh, okay, so he has a move where he just rushes at you. Okay, great. Uh, he can jump up in the air and try to jump on top of you. Right, he can jump down into the ground and shoot four fireballs at you or whatever. He can swing his sword around. Okay, Dung Defender is helping deal with some of these little flying guys that spawn, which is good. And I think I have an opportunity to heal here. So let's take that opportunity while it's there. Cool, and he is stunned for the moment, and I didn't need any more healing at that point in time, but it's because I already lost so many lifeblood hearts. Okay, I'm really appreciating that Dung Defender is helping take out these little flying balloon things without me having to explicitly focus cont uh, oops, focus my attention on them. And I'm even getting a few little bits of damage on him with Dung Defender as well. Ah, darn it. Okay, he's stunned. I'm going to heal. Yeah, Dung Defender is definitely a win there. Uh, because otherwise those balloon things would have hit me while I was healing. Uh, but with Dung Defender, they didn't get a chance. And... Okay. This is actually going way better than I thought it was going to. All right. Took some damage there, that's unfortunate. Um, I need to figure out my next moment to heal. Come on. Okay, here we go. Heal. And with quick focus, I managed to get three heals in, which is great. And I've already stunned him twice? Yeah, I might be able to win this battle. Okay. I guess the last time I fought him, I was not as strong. I probably didn't have as many charm notches. I didn't have the lifeblood core to give me the four extra hearts right at the beginning of the battle. Uh, and I don't remember if I was wearing Dung Defender or not. All right, let's heal. Probably didn't have as much soul vessel to, like, store up as much uh, soul for healing as well. Here we go. Wow! Did I just beat him on the first try? I really thought this battle was going to be way harder. I have watched a couple of other people fight this boss. Um... 
wow. And so maybe I internalize some of their strategies as well. I really thought that that was going to take me a dozen attempts and I was going to have to do lots of editing here, but I'm happy about the result. All right, and he just bows down to me. And then I have 1800 soul and now I have 22. Wow, he's worth 400. Okay, that is super awesome. Um, in that case, uh, I have some other big boss battles on the list, and I guess we could go try another one of the big bosses, or big bosses, dream bosses. Uh, I guess is technically their name or something, but you can think of them as big bosses because they're big and hard. Um, and yeah, all right, so I'm going to go save and do some fast travel, and we'll go try another boss. Wow. Okay, the next boss I'd like to go after, I think, is Failed Champion. That brings us back to Dirtmouth, so let's talk to Zote once again. Precept 32. Names have power. Names have power, and so to name something is to grant it power. I, myself, named my nail Lifeender. Do not steal the name I came up with. Invent your own. Precept 33. Show the enemy no respect. Being gallant to your enemies is no virtue. If someone opposes you, they don't deserve respect or kindness or mercy. Alright. I feel like the precepts are getting a little weaker here as we get into the 30s in terms of their numbering. Uh, but perhaps who am I to say? All right. I guess actually, since I'm the Let's Player, I can I can do all the judgment I want. So there you go. Uh, there is a place to save right over near where Failed Champion is, I think, if I'm remembering correctly. Oops. Hey. Uh, can I Desolate Dive? Hey, that's a nice way to get down here more quickly. Uh, I like that. Uh, there's a save pedestal right over here. I can't remember if the infective crossroads kind of like block this area off. Oh, and I don't have the compass on. So am I actually at the right location right now? I believe I am because the save place is right up here, I believe. I think it's inside the ancestral mound, which is where? Up in here? It's been a long time since we've been here. This is where we first got our uh, first spell. Yeah, it's right here. Okay, great. Uh, from the shaman. See if anything new to say? What's this? My vengeful gift has warped within you. You've twisted it into something else. Oh, I knew it, my friend. You're a marvel. Your essence has melded with the spell. You must have found a powerful source to transform it in such a unique, expressive way. And of course, he's referring to the fact uh, that we've upgraded all of our spells. And so what was... Um, what was it originally called? In any case, it's now the Shade Soul. Um, yeah, and I'm curious if I hit you with the Dream Nail. Poking around in the dreams of others. You're more curious than you look. Oh, ho, ho, ho. All right. So that crazy spell shaman, uh, or snail shaman, whatever he's called, uh, is perceptive enough to know when we're kind of like digging around inside his memories. And now I believe the place that you fight Field Champion, yeah, is over here to the right, but unfortunately it's blocked off by the infected crossroads. And so I probably have to take a longer trek to get around there. Yeah, I might actually want to go from the tram station. Okay, let me go find a different way to get there. Of course, going by the tramway takes me back by Zote, and so we'll talk to him again. Precept 34. Don't eat immediately before sleeping. This can cause restlessness and indigestion. It's just common sense. I actually happen to agree with that one. Precept 35. Up is up, down is down. If you fall over in the darkness, it can be easy to lose your bearing and forget which way is up. Keep this precept in mind. Which way is up? Why, up is up, of course. It's very helpful advice. Thank you, Zote. Um... Yeah... I do find the part about uh, indigestion in terms of eating right before you go to bed is, is true. Give yourself a chance to digest a bit before you lie flat. Otherwise, gravity will work against you. All right, so I believe actually right over here is going to be somewhere that brings us very close to this next boss. For those that have forgotten the layout of the Forgotten Crossroads, uh, perhaps this will be a refresher. I think I'm far enough away, yeah, from the explosion of that guy. Not to have to worry about the explosion hitting me in the face. And in terms of a build for this next boss, I'm not sure that the same set of charms I used against the Lost Kin is necessarily good. The Dung Defender in particular uh, might not be particularly use Oops. useful against this boss. Uh, and I've also taken some damage, which is also not good. 
I think is he up here? No, he's still one screen over to the left. I kind of, oops, took more damage. Uh, but we'll just kind of, I don't know, do a warm up round where we get into this battle because this is a battle that I also remember being super difficult. Um, but that, yeah, I have less great ideas in terms of how to, how to attack it. So I probably will need to practice on this one. So he is over here. You recall this is the guy who is wearing the mighty armor. And he swings a giant club. And it's just really difficult. Oh! All of my soul hearts come back when I enter the dream world. Well, that's very convenient. Uh, hooray for that. Okay, well, that's nice. That makes that part easier, at least. Uh, how do I get over to this guy's arena? Is it just to the left here? I think it's actually right here. It is. Okay, great. Uh, okay, put my game face on. And let's see what happens when we meet up with... Failed Champion! Ouch! And yes, I forgot. His club does two damage at a time, which is one of the reasons... Oh gosh, that this guy is so difficult. And I think I want to try to dash under him when he jumps, which I am not doing at all. I'm just tanking all the damage. Okay, that was awful. <laughs> Right. This guy is going to be a beast. Okay, let me try to come up with slightly better strategy. I do get all of my kind of like hearts and things back, which is nice. And let's see, I just go over here. Right, from here I can just jump in. Great. So, I'm going to try to dash under him when he jumps. I'm pretty sure that's a good strategy. Oops, and that was not dashing under him. Okay, there we go. And then if you get behind him, uh, then he can't hit you with this club. That's what I recall. Ouch. Yeah. Okay, now he's going to be able to hit me, so I need to go over here. Ouch. Okay, I'm behind him. Ouch. Ugh. I didn't get behind him. Oh, I did. Oh, right. I forgot that I'm invincible uh, when I... Okay. I forgot that I have my invincibility frames now when I dash, which means I can actually dash through him as well, because we got the Shade Cloak. Was that just last episode? Uh, I'm back after a weekend where I was away for a couple of days. Yeah, so the Shade Cloak makes me invincible. Right, and the Desolate Dive will also make me invincible, and so I should consider using those things to my advantage if I can. But I think most of the success in this battle comes to very precise movement and dodging his attacks because his attacks are just so devastating in terms of the amount of damage that they do on your character. So... Okay. Ah, darn it. Okay. Okay, I got underneath him there. Okay, here he's... Okay. I need to find a way to dodge that. I guess I can try dashing the moment that he swings his club, possibly. All right, I did dash. Unfortunately, I dashed into him, so he still dealt contact damage, and that time I didn't get the dash off. Oh, gosh. It's so hard. I think it's definitely the case that Dung Defender is not going to help me, though, and actually Thorns of Agony would be a better charm because he is going to hit me a bit, and it would be nice if I could deal damage back to him each time he does. So I'm going to go sit at a bench and switch up that charm at least and think if there's any other charms that are going to help me. Probably quick focus is not going to be useful in this battle because I think it's unlikely I'm going to find times to heal. So yeah, let me go rejigger my charms and see if that will help us out. All right, I decided since I have a natural predilection to face tanking enemies when I get into a panic, uh, having as much health as possible could be good. And so I have both the Lifeblood Core as well as Joni's Blessing. And that means I have no opportunity for healing. All of my hearts are now Lifeblood Hearts, but it means I have a lot of them. So I can take a lot of damage. And so we'll see if that serves me well or not. Okay. Dashed under him. Dashed under him. That's right. Just keep jumping. Okay. That one I'm not going to be able to dodge, which is a shame. Oops. And he did it again. Ah, and I missed my chance to... Okay. There we go, now I'm under him. Oh! Okay, he does get stunned. I forgot about that. And so now I guess I should just do that. Okay, and I should uh, consider Desolate Dive as- Oh, I forgot about this move. Crap. And I can knock some of these uh, falling projectiles into his face, and that will deal damage too. 
Okay, let me get over here. I can't heal. Ouch. Hey, cut it out. Big dummy. Ah, cut it out. Hey, I said no. <laughs> no means no. <laughs> oh boy. Ah. All right, he's doing a lot more jumping farther away from me. Ah, all right, and then when he does get close, he's got a huge swing on that uh, club of his. But I did more damage this time because I definitely managed to stun him once. But then I need to remember in the second phase where he just starts banging the ground and all the stuff falls out of the ceiling. All right, I may be a little bit quieter here as I try to concentrate. And perhaps I'll need to do some editing. I'm also curious, if I do this, can I just go... Yeah, that's a nice quick way to get into the arena. All right, that's good. That just helps restart the battle quicker. Ah, I didn't manage to jump over that. Darn it. Okay. All right, I tanked that. Okay, but we managed to do this. And I wonder... Okay, that is this move, so I need to be ready... Ah, oh, come on. To deflect some of these into him, ideally. Ah, oh, darn it. Come on, you gotta, gotta get out of the way of that, Brian. I'm having a hard time forecasting the tell when he's about to swing the big club. Darn it. Yeah, I'm tending to anticipate that everything he does is going to be a jump, and sometimes he's going to be swinging the club. And so... Hmm, I just need to watch for the tells a little bit better, I think. Oh, I almost dodged that one. Ah, I did not dodge that one. Okay. Managed to get to the first stun. Ah, darn it. I should desolate dive, actually, is what I should do. Yeah, because I need to use my soul power for something. And so, yeah, actually, I could also I could stand back here. Ah, oh, darn it. <laughs> uh, and hit him. Oh, I don't have any soul power. Haha. <laughs> Guess I used it all up. Okay. Okay. Got a stun. Great. So we managed to get to the second stun phase this time. So that's a minor improvement. Ah, darn it. Alright, now I'm almost dead. Darn it. Okay. I think I am slowly making a little bit of progress. I need to think about when I could use my spells. I could just use my ranged spell to do a little bit of extra damage that way. I don't think I'm off to as good of a start this time as I was last time. And actually, I should probably use... Ah, oh, darn it. Oh, come on. <laughs> I should probably use a Nail Master attack um, when he gets into his stun phase, I was thinking, because I might be able to deal more damage then. Yuck. All right, restart. Nice. That was a good use of invincibility frames there. Nice. 
Nice. Okay. I'm gonna hit him twice. Okay, twice is all I can get in. Okay, I hit him with a spell. Ah, oh, darn it. Good. Okay, one of those. Oops, crap. I was trying to charge up Mail Master Glory again. Or whatever it is I'm trying to say. Okay, hit him with a few of those. Oh! Did I do it? Uh, I don't remember if there's any other phase here. I don't think there is. Nice! Okay. <laughs> that was still quite difficult, but when I really started to concentrate on trying to dodge his attacks, um, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. And I think that's the first time I've ever beaten this boss. Uh, I don't think I managed to beat him when I had played through on my own before. I wanted it, the strength to protect the others. When I saw that knight sleeping, safe in his big armored shell, it wasn't madness that drove me to it, I just wanted it. But in the end, if strength cannot save you, then what can? And this will bring me up to 2501, which I think means we can get another reward from the seer. And so I guess that's the next place that I'm going to go. Uh, we'll go visit the seer. Here is the armor that he borrowed from the knight <laughs> back with his real form. Uh, yes, I'll meet you guys over at the seer and we'll see what our next reward is. We really haven't taken advantage of the previous reward all that much yet, to be honest, and so that's something that we'll have to come back to in the future as well. But I'll meet you guys over at the Seer. Okay, back over at the resting grounds. With some more normal charms re-equipped. Let's see what she has to say. Ah, wielder, you've returned. Let me have a look at the dream nail. So much essence. So bright. You truly are the wielder my tribe so long has dreamed of. The folk of my tribe were born from a light. Light, similar to essence, similar to that powerful blade, though much brighter still. They were content to bask in that light and honored it, for a time. But another light appeared in our world, a worm that took the form of a king. How fickle my ancestors must have been. They forsook the light that spawned them, turned their backs to it, forgot it even. And so this kingdom was born from that betrayal, but the memories of that ancient light still lingered, hush whispers of faith, until all of Hallownest began to dream of that forgotten light. Ah, but what's done is done, and so am I, the wielder that has at last appeared, and I've held the memories of my tribe for long enough. It is time for us to be forgotten too. Don't remember us, wielder. Don't honor us. We do not deserve it. Ah, I'm sorry. Light. Radiance. I remember you. And with that, the seer is gone. All right. But apparently her tribe worshipped and was spawned from a light. And perhaps we'll learn more about that in the future. <laughs> All right. Uh, sadly, we didn't get a gift to go with that. Um, but it means that we have collected enough essence that I could move on to other things. Uh, let me check on the length of this video and see if I want to do anything else in today's episode. I think this episode might turn out a little bit shorter, but I think it's still pretty good. We managed to defeat two of the dream battles, which is way more than my expectations were for today. And as a result, uh, do our final interaction with the seer. And so next time, uh, it might be the case that I'll try to focus on getting another of the final two charms that we're missing. And yeah, we're getting close to the point where I could at least show, as I think I've mentioned before, there's at least three different endings to this game, and we could definitely go ahead and show one of them off. And so perhaps I will do that uh, in the near future as well. In any case, I hope as always that you guys are having a great day and enjoying my playthrough of Hollow Knight, and I will see you when I see you. Bye-bye. Ooh, I just hit the switch. That's weird. This thing is already open and the switch was there. I don't know how to interpret that. <laughs> ah, and that's a strange little coda on this episode. Bye-bye. <laughs>